No. <laughs> yes. I'm with my brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have a black. <laughs> I feel like you grab everything black. <laughs> yes, I do, Jess. Yes, I do. I can. This literally stresses me out. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, hello. My name is Carly and today I took an old pair of suspenders, cut them up and wrapped one of them around my neck and called it a choker. How's that for dressing on a budget? Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips on how you can actually shop for clothing at less expensive stores, what you should be looking for and what you should avoid. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it while you're watching it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll put the link on your screen and down below in the info. I make new videos every single Thursday. Let's get into my tips on how to dress well on a budget. You can style solid colored pieces in so many different ways and you can make looks out of them that look really refined and elegant even if a piece costs you only like eight dollars. For example, the flowy shirt that I'm wearing right now is from Forever 21. It cost me like seven or eight dollars but a flowy t-shirt from a designer that could cost two hundred dollars could look the same. If the fabric already is in great quality and then you add a print to the mix it can really start to look cheap and it can really show how low quality the fabric really is. It's totally okay if you want to wear something like that but if you want to have a really classic elegant elevated style without spending a lot of money I would avoid the prints and the bright colors in the kind of cheaper fabric section are some pieces that are just questionable no matter what the price point. So if it's really tight, if it's really short, if it shows a lot of skin, if you have a lot of cleavage sticking out, if there's ruching, if all of these things are together on a garment, it can really, really highlight how cheaply made it was. And even if it was an expensive piece, it still can give off a cheap look. A safe bet is to look at the dress you're looking at in the store. And if it looks like it could be taken out to a club, you should leave it there. Unless you want to wear it to the club, which by all means, go ahead. This video is called how to dress well on a budget, not how to go clubbing on a budget. This is just a general tip that I use when I am buying clothing at places like Target, Forever 21. I always go a size up in the clothing. The demographic of some stores like Forever 21, they have like 12 and 13 year olds shopping there. So a small on a preteen fits a lot differently than a small on an adult. So if you really wanna ensure that you get that loose fashionable fit, I would just go a size up and be safe. If you stick to like wardrobe essentials, things like blue shirts, dark jeans, striped tops, all of those things are really hard to mess up and you really can't tell across the board if it was a $10 shirt or a $50 shirt. So you have a safe bet if you're sticking to classic basic pieces. A key to creating a great wardrobe when you're on a budget is buying pieces that you can mix and match. That's why, again, I say stick to solid colored pieces and basic pieces because you can get a ton of different outfits and they're not necessarily standout pieces. So it's really all about your total look versus having one big trendy piece. Don't go and blow a ton of money on a trendy item of the moment. Wait a couple of months because usually most stores have gotten something similar at that point and you can get something at a way lower price point. And if you don't even want the piece a couple of months later when it's available in those stores, then you know that you're really glad that you didn't spend the money on it in the first place like Topshop Forever 21 always have a really great range of accessories. You can get things like black hats, you can get great purses, you can get jewelry. There's a lot of things you can get at a lesser price. A great thing to look for is a structured bag while you're out shopping, things with really defined edges. Purses in solid colors that are like really geometric, like they have a very defined shape and solid edges and they're very structured, look very high end and give off that kind of expensive styled appearance. All right guys, those are my tips on how to dress well on a budget. If you like this video, don't forget to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll put the link on your screen and down below in the info bar. I make home and fashion videos and I post new videos every single Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye. I don't want to sound dramatic, but this literally makes me want to throw up. Wait, this tank top though is really good and I actually might buy this. I take back all the bad things I said about you. Is it too late now to say sorry? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I might get this just to like wear with pants. As opposed to. <laughs> I might wear this with just a simple pair of pants. <laughs> it's that simple. Eloise, do you like it? You like it? Hmm, she appears unimpressed. You know, I tried. I know. I tried to She's hard her. to please. It never happened. <laughs>
guys like these tips, make sure to go follow me over on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm posting my outfits regularly over on Instagram and I am posting on Snapchat almost daily. So if you'd like to see those, my screen name is just Carly Chrisman. Bye guys.